Good morning. This is Rick Gray. I wanted to talk today about a subject dear to my heart, and that is personal development. I don't watch the news very much. I purposely try to avoid watching world events and what's going on because it seems uh, they like to thrive on feeding us negative images and negative stories. It's amazing how I still understand what's going on in the world, though. You catch it from the radio, from social media, from other outlets, and I actually still stay pretty informed. But I like to really control what goes into my mind. Unfortunately, recently I've been seeing a lot of things that I don't like, and it's a common theme these days, and it really makes me long for the Jim Rohns of the world and Zig Ziglar's and people that really taught personal development and self-responsibility. It's something that's sorely lacking in our world these days. It seems that everybody thinks they deserve everything. It's an entitlement mentality that uh, has really gotten out of hand. Quite frankly, people don't understand how to take responsibility for their own actions and their own lives. And I understand part of it is personal development is difficult. If you start to work on yourself and if you start to get rid of your blame list, you know, blaming other people, blaming the government, blaming your boss, blaming the pay scale, blaming the unions, blaming the technology, blaming politics. When you quit, quit blaming other things and start really accepting responsibility for your own life and your own success yourself, that can be difficult. Anytime you want to go to another level, it's just like getting into an airplane. Fasten your seatbelts. Okay? There's going to be some turbulence. There are going to be some difficult times. But hey, that's what life is all about, right? Self-improvement and continuing to grow and get better. Get better as a person. Get better in your relationships with your friends and your family. Get better at your job. Personal development is a sorely needed subject today. Unfortunately, it's one of those things nobody thinks they need. Everybody thinks they're doing this really well. But if you do watch the news at all or you hear about what's going on, it's really frustrating to me that so many people seem to not understand that concept of taking responsibility for their own actions. Whether it gets down to work, people in, just in transactions in real estate, people on the job striking to get more money because we're fast food restaurant employees and we should be making $15 an hour. You know, somebody made the comment the other day, I read the article where they said, you know, the fast food employees around here work harder than the billionaires. It's like, well, if people really believe that, we've got big problems. Big problems, okay? I'm not saying that people don't work hard, but work hard on yourself, right? Increase your value, increase your skills, and somebody will pay you more money. That's how life works. You can't go out there and expect to be paid more money for a job that's not really all that valuable. By that token, I mean a lot of people can do it. Some people only make 9 or $10 an hour. Some people make $500, $1,000 an hour. Why? Because they have specialized skills that people need and are willing to pay for. Well, instead of saying that's not fair and I should make more money, how about you go to work on yourself, learn to be more skilled and more knowledgeable, develop something that somebody else actually wants, and you'll get paid for it. That's how the economy works. So going on strike and trying to demand more money is a bad way to go about it. And this entitlement mentality that's out there that I deserve a cell phone and I deserve to be paid more money even though I don't do anything, that's got to stop. We've got to spread this word of personal development and self-responsibility. It's about time that started swinging, the pendulum started swinging that way. Have a great day and thanks for listening to my rant this morning. I'll talk to you soon.